I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, fellow NHS members, and welcome to this year's version of the National Honor Society's induction ceremony. My name is Emily Lewis, and I am an officer of Antioch Community High School's chapter of NHS. On behalf of my fellow officers, Principal Eric Hamilton, and our advisors, Mr. Joe Lafredo and Ms. Kelly McCracken, I would like to thank you for tuning in today as we honor our current members and celebrate the induction of 70 new members to the society. Congratulations to all of our new inductees. As part of the admissions process, each candidate must include an essay they have written as part of their packet to be considered for induction into NHS. We would like to share some of the things they have indicated are important to them at this point in their lives. Many students talk about their family and how they provide support. They express appreciation and a desire to make their parents and family members proud. Today we share your pride of their accomplishments as we celebrate their success in becoming a newly inducted member in the National Honor Society. It's something to be proud of. They also take great pride in themselves, as they should. They recognize that it takes commitment and hard work to attain the grades that they have earned. The challenges of balancing their busy lives and the value of learning time management were also addressed. These inductees are involved in a variety of school activities and provide service to their school and community in several different ways. And yet, many of them express the desire to do even more in terms of service. As a member of the National Honor Society, they will each be required to provide individual service hours and will be involved in chapter service projects. Now that may look a little bit different than normal this year, but we are all about getting people together and having fun while we also serve our communities. This past year, our members provided over 5,000 hours of individual service, and that's something that we take great pride in. As a group, we helped pack food at Feed My Starving Children, worked the Treat the Streets program through the Village of Antioch, supported Bernie's Book Bank, Habitat for Humanity, the Veterans Day Assembly, the Open Arms Food Pantry, PADS, and several other charitable and non-profit organizations. Collectively, we take pride in our vast spread of different volunteer activities that each of our members decide to pursue. Our inductees talked about many other things in their essays with regard to what it means to be a good leader and how character truly influences others around us. Through selection, each student has demonstrated excellence in academics, commitment to various activities and services here at school and in our community, a willingness to truly lead others, and other many valuable traits of good character. Induction into the National Honor Society is both an honor and a commitment. Our principal, advisors, and returning NHS members look forward to working with all of our new members as we continue to make a difference for both our school and our community. On behalf of all current members, advisors, and school administration, I would like to personally congratulate all of the students who will become members of the National Honor Society today. And also a big thank you to all of our current members for your continued hard work and dedication. Congrats! Hi, my name is Janet Pluchenik, and I am also an officer for the 2020 to 2021 term of NHS. Although this induction ceremony is not what we're all used to, we are honored to have our principal to take the time out of his day to participate in the ceremony. At this time, I'd like to introduce Principal Hamilton to address the new members. Congrats, inductees. Hello, my name is Eric Hamilton, and I am the principal of Antioch Community High School. I am honored to welcome and congratulate the new members of the National Honor Society. Respect, responsibility, and pride are pillars that help support Antioch Community High School. Similarly, the National Honor Society is supported by four pillars of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. As a member of NHS myself, I can share with you that these pillars will become solid supports for your current and future success. They have helped me focus on what is truly important and how I can help move our society forward. I would challenge you to do the same. As the future of this community, country, and world, I ask you to always remember why you were selected for this great honor, the importance of your commitment to the four pillars, and the results you will achieve by being anchored to scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Again, I want to congratulate you and welcome you to the National Honor Society. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. At this time, I'd like to present to you our new inductees. 
Mr. Hamilton typically passes out certificates on stage. However, this year, all inductees will be receiving their NHS certificates when they return to school. Our inductees will be presented in alphabetical order, along with a brief bio they have submitted. We normally have our current members introduce our inductees. However, this year, we will be doing this through a slideshow. I now have the honor of being the first member to welcome you all to this NHS chapter at ACHS.
name's Annabelle and I'm one of the officers for NHS. Um, at this point of the ceremony, we usually ask the inductees to stand up and raise their right hand to recite the NHS pledge. Since it's virtual, I have the honor of reading the pledge. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Society, to which I have been selected, striving in every way by word and deed to make its ideals the ideals of my school and my life. Hello, my name is Owen Lane, and I will be talking about the first pillar of NHS, which is scholarship. You can teach a student a lesson for a day, but if you can teach him to learn by creating curiosity, he will continue the learning process as long as he lives. Clay P. Bedford. Scholarship requires a commitment to learning. A scholar is willing to spend hours in the pursuit of knowledge to develop a cultivated, inquiring mind. A true scholar pursues knowledge for its own sake, and understands that education ends only when life ends. The scholar's attainment of knowledge is an element in life that leads to the highest success and can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Members have the charge to continually expand their world through the pursuit of scholarship and to share their knowledge with others. Hello, I'm Kylie Craig, and I'm one of the officers for this chapter of NHS. One of the main pillars to uphold within the National Honor Society is service. As Mohandas Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Service requires a sincere commitment to help others. Those who serve freely give of their time and talents. As members, we demonstrate our commitment to ACHS through our involvement in extracurricular activities, athletics, and by providing tutoring to students who need assistance. Service also involves commitment to volunteer our time within the community. Members demonstrate a willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or individual recognition. As members, we have the charge to volunteer our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow through service to our school and community. At this point, I would now light a candle to represent the service pillar. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. John Quincy Adams. My name is Simon Hasek, and I'm going to speak to you today about leadership. Positive leadership exerts a wholesome influence upon society. The real leader takes the initiative by training and aiding others in their pursuit of worthwhile objectives. When others hesitate to get involved or make a commitment, a leader finds the time to help by taking on the responsibility of guiding others towards the achievement of appropriate goals. Often, a leader sacrifices personal interests for the interests of others. By setting examples as a positive role model and striving to achieve worthwhile goals, a leader earns the respect of those who follow. No matter what power and resources exist in a society, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, members must always lead others in their pursuit of proper goals. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes a person as honorable, honest, and reliable. Without positive character traits, people cannot respect themselves nor hope to attain the respect of others. This force of character guides us through life, and once it is developed, continues to grow steadily. Character is achieved, not received. It is the product of constant action. A person of character daily strives to make the right choices and exhibit self-control. Members have the charge to demonstrate the qualities of high moral standards and ethical behaviors so that we prove by example that we both value and possess character. As Ben Sweetland wrote, we cannot hold a torch to light another's path without brightening our own. Each of these exceptional NHS members has lit their own path and they are now ready to brighten the world we live in. Candles certainly do shine bright, just as these students shine scholastically by maintaining a cumulative GPA of 3.7 or higher. The light from a single candle can brighten someone's darkness 
but the glow of many candles is even more magnificent as each of these caring and giving young people share their light with others through service to their school and community. Each candle also serves to light the way for others, as reflected by the leadership skills these wonderful students demonstrate each and every day. Character is like the flame of the candle, ever so visible, watched by others who are drawn to it as a shining example. NHS members, may you light tomorrow with today and always remember to keep your candle shining for others. On behalf of my fellow officers, Mr. Joe Lafredo and Mrs. Kelly McCracken, I would like to thank the faculty council members for their dedication and assistance. This year's council includes Ms. Marcia Zaboral, Ms. Jackie DeCaro, Mr. Greg Henning, Mr. Jerry McKeague, Mr. Tony Borkert, and Ms. Audrey Nagel. Along with our NHS members, we would like to thank Mr. Hamilton for speaking today. Parents, we congratulate you as your child becomes a member in this distinguished organization. Congratulations to all of our new members and thank you to our current members for your help in preparing for the cer ceremony today. When school returns, we will have an opportunity for all inductees to take a picture with their certificates in front of our NHS banner.